Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our next quarterfinals matchup. Again, we're staying here at the Boxing Ring scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, Montreal Glover. Mr. Glover making his way to the ring for the second fight of the tournament. See who gets to move on. And having some trouble getting the hoodie over the gloves there, Mr. Glover. Things you want to check out before you leave the dressing room. You'd be surprised how often that happens. <laughs> oh, no. I thought it ruined some hoodies to get my hands through. <laughs> His opponent out of the red corner, Giancarlo Maldonado. Mr. Glover, a representative of Syndicate MMA out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And Mr. Maldonado, he represents Movie Time Colorado, but comes to us from Tucson, Arizona. And again, yeah, it's the gloves fun. versus hoodie fight. All right, <laughs> Montreal Glover out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He's 22 years old, 5 feet 11 inches tall, 135 pounds. Comes to us as the number seven seed and an orthodox fighter. Facing off against Giancarlo Maldonado. He's 28 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, 135 pounds. He is the number two seed, representing Muay Thai style and out of Muay Thai of Colorado. Mr. Glover's coach, Mr. Chris Trammell, he's a Sparta Hall of Famer himself, a standout Muay Thai fighter. Did some MMA, but Muay Thai was his specialty, his passion. See how his pupil fares in the tournament this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an elimination king of Sparta Striker Series quarterfinal matchup. Your number seven seed versus your number two seed. Let's meet our fighters. Introducing first, out of the Mike Moroni Ford blue corner. He's an Orthodox style fighter. Your seventh seed stands five foot, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds with Syndicate MMA from Las Vegas, Nevada, Montreal. The Hitman Glover! His opponent, 
out of the interstate roof league, powered by JRC Window, red corner. He's a Muay Thai style fighter, your number two seed. Checked in at five foot, 10 inches tall, weighed in at 135 pounds, with Muay Thai of Colorado, from Tucson, Arizona, Giancarlo Maldonado! Referee Armando Castro. Fighters, you were given instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Back to your corners. Glover with the blue tape. Maldonado with the red tape. Here we go. Second fight for our King of Sparta Strikers Tournament. Fast hands by both fighters. No waiting and feeling out process like we saw in the last fight. Not at all. Going right to it. Close the door to the phone booth and let's eat it all. <laughs> Several uppercuts thrown by Glover. I think both of them had light contact. That one missed. Maldonado's finding a good place for his, uh, his punches and his range. He's got to just be careful of being caught with this uh, rear uppercut. You can hear the footwork of Maldonado. He really sets down heavy on his lead foot. Wanted to get a lot of power transferred into his punches. Looks like they're both starting to settle into the fight, kind of choosing their shots now. Glover trying to catch Maldonado on his way in, but Maldonado is doing a good job of putting his head where he needs it, keeping it safe, and then finding a combination after it. And both fighters are switching stances. Glover just doesn't quite have a read on the distance yet. He is the taller of the two, but only by an inch. Start. Pretty close first round there. I agree, I'd say uh, Glover's slightly busier, Maldonado slightly more accurate. I agree. However, Maldonado, I think, was throwing him more punches. I don't, I don't have a punch count, but <laughs> uh, I have a strong belief that he, uh, he won by volume. All right, here we go on the replay of this one. They had a little bit of action in the corner. Glover had missed trying to beat Maldonado with the uppercut as he came in. And then just good distance management by Maldonado. Kept himself out at the end of end range of Glover's punches. Coach getting tangled up in the ring ropes. <laughs> The difference I'm seeing here starting in round two, Glover trying to be the faster of the two, Maldonado trying to be the more powerful of the two. See how that plays out with their respective game plans. I think Maldonado's having the success with the, the, the ring control. He's keeping Glover at the edge of, of the ring, which doesn't allow him to use his, uh, his length. Yeah, you're right. Glover has his back to the ropes, and Maldonado has his back to the center of the ring. <clears throat> Little wind up there. <laughs> Trick shot. Yeah. 
Again, both fighters look really composed. Yeah, Maldonado, keep in mind, he is the number two seed. Glover has the number seven. I agree, it looks like Maldonado's controlling the ring a little bit better. Little elbow shot on the entry by Maldonado there. He flares that left elbow up as a defensive tactic quite often. And notice that, looks like he's trying to do almost like a little shoulder roll there. Glover's best combination of the fight. Maldonado thought he was gonna slip out of it and Glover altered the distance. 10 second clacker. Let's see if you can close out the round. Good exchange there. Another really close round. Yeah, I think those two combinations by a Glover at the end might have got it for him. I, I agree. I think he found uh, found a lot more success with his counter punching in this round. And again, it looks like Maldonado did have a little bit better ring control. So, what do you think, JR? What do you think about that ring control versus that combination? Yeah, the, the ring control is good in that it shows that you're dictating a little bit of the fight, but what matters is putting your glove on your opponent, and I think Lever did a little bit more of that. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah, just enough to edge out the round, possibly. And we're seeing some of those good exchanges here in the replay. Maldonado had some, uh, some good defense. However, he wasn't able to come out of his defense with a good offensive combination. Fights up for grabs, so we'll have to see who can put up, who can implement their game plan the best. <laughs> Maldonado saw that twitch from Glover on the counter. Nice exchange. Oh, and Glover really clipped him on the jaw. Glover's got a little bit more pop into his punches. Maldonado needs to go back to using that jab that he did in the first 10 seconds of this round. Yeah, I think both guys know this is a close fight. I think their corners probably got in their ears. And told him you need to really put a stamp on this fight, and I'm in agreement. Oh, looks like a low strike happened there. Maldonado is putting a, a good combination to the body. I would like to, for him to do go over the body and then up high to the head. And keep those punches up, sir. Both fighters trying to use their jabs. Try to set up the next shot. We're about halfway through, so we'll have to see which fighter can be more explosive. Good exchange there. Again. Glover finding big success. He just looks like he has a lot more pop at the end of his punches. Yeah, that speed is finally paying off for him. Maldonado trying to walk him down, looks like. Yeah, trying to really land something powerful is Maldonado. But you might be right, JR. Those, those flurries, those are scoring big, though. So it's ring control versus scoring. Little little showman shit. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Didn't work the first time. Try it again. Oh, third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ten seconds out. We'll see if you can close out this round. Still the fight. Both of them willing to stand and trade. Good finish by both fighters. Yes. Great Very job. good fight. Very clean. Oh, thank God I'm not a judge. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's a got, rough one. Yes, they got their work cut out for them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, both fighters should be proud of the performance. They both look good. Maldonado with the pressure. Glover with the hand speed. Good set to the punches, so we'll have to see what the judges like.
here in the replay, you can see Glover just finding a home for us, counter punching towards the end of this round. And yeah, you know, I, I think this definitely uh, left a, a, a mark in the judge's decision. You're right, might be just in it, but he got a decision. We'll have to see. See. Well, they know doing a good job of coming forward though, applying pressure. Yeah, toward the end there is a battle of speed versus power. For replay, Glover's doing a good job of just keeping him at that range. A yeah, distance. Show. Good? Yeah. <laughs> you have the showmanship. And we have the full two minute round in this replay. <laughs> Which I find this exciting, I don't mind rewatching. Very good exchanges there. Boy, that's gonna be a tough one to call. Yeah, that exchange in the corner, that was as we talked about earlier, Maldonado controlling the ring, able to get Glover into the corner where he could try to unload his combinations. Little flex with the camera there. <laughs> Maybe I'll score him a few extra points. Ladies and gentlemen, after this three round battle, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Sanchez scores us about 29 28, Glover. Judge Van Tine scores us about 29 28, Maldonado. Judge Mellish scores us about 29-28 in favor of your winner by split decision. And moving on to the semifinals, Montreal, the Hitman, Glover! Congratulations to the Syndicate MMA fighter out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Mr. Hitman, Montreal Glover. Sexy, our friend in real estate. Take it away. Congratulations, Sparta. I'm here with you, Winnie. What's it like getting ready for a, an entire night like tonight? Uh, man, nothing but hard work, dedication. We're ready for it. That's fantastic. Congratulations on your win. Who do you want to thank right now? Thank my family over there. Thank the coaches over here at Syndicate. And everybody back home. Love you all there. Fantastic. And we look forward to seeing you again. Remember, Sparta, when you need help with real estate, you've got a friend in me.